Welcome to the countertest project. This project is similar to the stopwatch project which demonstrates the, fun the same features of the PIC microcontroller. Except this project can be used to test a single LED display function capable of supporting anywhere from 2 to 8 LED 7 segment display digits. Here are a few goals this project satisfies. Requires no, no source code changes to implement. Simply edit a single definition file to make changes. Supports anywhere from 2 to 8 7 segment LED digits without any code changes. Employs multitasking techniques, sometimes called persistence of vision, to display through all the digits. Does not display preceding zeros. In fact, skips over non-required digits, therefore making code more efficient when displaying smaller numbers. Uses a single function to display decimal, hexadecimal, or octal numbers. Allows seven segment LED digits to be connected to any combination of output pins on the micro. Uses attribute control flags allowing on-off control of any digit, which can be utilized to make any digit or combination of digits blink. Displays an E at the most significant digit, indicating an error. When the number is being displayed is greater than the physical number of displayable digits, which you just seen roll over to the E, and if we switch to a different base, we go over to hexadecimal, uh, that is not the case. If we go to octal, it is overflowed long ago. We go back to decimal and we put it on pause and we can then clear this. Okay, currently it is uh, in octal. If we go ahead and pause it, you can see that it is in octal according to the digits of this. I simply scratched out real quickly on this piece of paper um, 1 two, through 8, which is the digits and the port numbers the, that each digit is, is controlled by, along with what segment the port is on, which happens to be port D. Um, you might want to do that so you can edit the definition file. Um, and so if we switch base, we're currently at octal, and we go to decimal and hexadecimal, and there we go. And we can start it up again, and we can go back to octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. Stop, octal, decimal, and it takes a while for the decimal to uh, display because of the div division that's taking place. And there we go with um, hexadecimal. Thank you for viewing my video.